Blaine is going to complete the most difficult and controversial endurance feat of his career. 44 days and nights of confinement and starvation, surviving on pure water alone. Thousands of people have turned up to witness the end of a challenge that began over six weeks ago. This is by far the hardest thing that I will ever do in my life as a performance piece. I expect most people not to understand and to be angered by it. But it's like I feel the most alive when I'm going through this. I'm going to make it till the end because that's what my goal is. And I think the human will, when it's really strong and able, I think you can pull anything off. Soon, David Blaine will be released. For the first time since he entered the box over six weeks ago, you'll be able to see close up the true impact of 44 days of starvation on his body. Before that, while his team get ready to bring him down, here's the first part of a film about this extraordinary challenge made by director Harmony Kareem. seen? What is it that I want? When you look at me, what do you see? Do you see a man? A ghost? A fool? Just another idiot dangling from a string? Can you see yourself? Do you see as I do? Do you feel as I feel? How can you know? Can you look at me hovering, dangling? I'm alive in here. I'm more alive than I have ever been. I have the sun shining through me. I breathe the air as you breathe it. But today the clouds are hovering inside me as well as above me. Today I am searching. Today, I am reinventing. Today, I am dying in front of you. I am becoming more than a man. I am becoming my art. And ultimately, I will want for nothing. And moreover, I will need for less. I will search for it all in the absence. Today I am above. Today I am above the below. Up the top, up the top, up the top. David. 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 So first, I'll explain what I'm doing, just to recount on everything. Basically, I'm going to build a, uh, or we've already built, a glass box that's glass on all sides. It's about as tall as I am. It's about as long as I am if I was to lay down, and it's about this wide. There'll be nothing in there except for some diapers, a journal, some pens, and uh, some lip balm, pretty much. Yeah. I consider it a piece of performance art, and I also consider it something that, for me, is like the ultimate truth. I think when you have nothing, like when you're living with nothing, there's no distractions, you're just there as you are, almost struggling. I think that that's a pure state that we could be in. There's lots of blurry London drunken louts that will probably be bowling past on a Friday night, throwing things at you. What is there going to be any security measures taken to stop people from doing that kind of stuff? Or? Well, there'll be security there. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know if they can stop people from throwing things. I'd be probably frightened out of my head if things started hitting the uh, case. Security should hopefully take care of it, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know anything about this one. I'm just doing it. What would you say to people who would say to you, you're nuts doing this, you're bonkers? Oh, great. It? <laughs> All my heroes are bonkers. <laughs> yeah? Well, you've been dubbed the modern-day Houdini, and God forbid if it all should go wrong, how would you like to be remembered? Um, is, is the greatest showman of all time. Absolutely amazing. He's just shown that anything you put your mind to, you can do it, and he's an absolute inspiration to us all. David Blaine, you are the man. We started uh, doing these stunts together uh, in April of 1999 with the Buried Alive. And we did the Frozen in Time, and we did the Vertigo stunt, and uh, now this. I would say that the other three combined are not as difficult if he'd have done those back-to-back -back as this one. It's gotten really hard in the last few days. He's really, he's faded a lot. You don't see him moving very much. He's really gotten weak, in my opinion. He's had heart palpitations, which I'm sure are caused by thinning of the heart wall. He's lost uh, mass to his organs, as well as bone mass. His joints ache. Uh, he's not moving around, so he's getting a lot of uh, uh, tingling feelings. He's got pains from not eating. Just about every pain that you can get from, from this sort of fast, he's got. so beautiful. I can see everybody. It's beautiful. Everybody's smiling. But I don't want to come out of here. I can see the people smiling. I can see heaven. I see your bodies in the clouds smiling.
Everything is all one. So you think I'll make it, Bill? I think we're gonna make sure you make it. Yeah. You think I can do 44? I don't know. I think if you die doing it, it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna die. Well, the problem with this one is that there's a point of no return. There's a point where you're still alive, and you may stay alive for days, but that your body can't recover. And that's the point where nobody knows when it's gonna, when you're gonna pass it. So, you may be alive perfectly in 44 days, but you may, your body may have passed that threshold. And I just, we just have to make sure we don't let you pass that threshold, whatever day it might be. Because if, if you live through 44 and die on day 60, what the fuck's the point? Yeah, I agree. I think organ failure is identifiable from the urinalysis. And I think that when that seems to be something that, if it's happening, it has to be the end. It has to be the end, period. Stand back. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Give us some tricky. Yo, put it in your hands too quick. Oh, you're hit. No, you're hit. You're hit. You're definitely hit. Yeah. Hold on. Give me a second. Recoup. So, bang, bang, bang. You get me upset when you keep making me wait, you know. You understand? Not in a rude uh, way. It's, it's what I'm a, saying it's, is that's this is about me. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? No, no, hold on. <laughs> 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 no, 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 that's from here to right end. Yeah, it's gonna be the same thing, don't worry. I know what you're gonna do, but just hit, wait, not yet. Wait till I'm ready. Hold on, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. No. Hold on, wait. You must believe in me right, now. Go ahead. Yeah? I'm scared, Reggie. 
took it. You 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 took it. I don't really care what anybody says. It makes no difference to me. So why are you doing this? I'm doing it for myself. All this other stuff that I'm doing is to be able to do that 44 days. That's my, that's the whole reason I'm here. Yeah, it has nothing to do with anybody other than myself. So if people condemn it, you won't care? No, I mean, I can't. Well, I'm going to be in there. I don't, what, what, I, what am I going to do? I expect people to do that, you know, I expect most people not to understand and to be angered by it. Why do I want to do it? Where did it manifest? I mean, the truth, because yeah. I love the idea of death and I hate life. So it's like these things really make me feel great. You know, I love and I love making people watch suffering because I had to watch it my whole life. I watched people that I loved and that were close to me deteriorate and die in front of my face. So it's like that's kind of like something that changed my whole perceptual world. I don't understand when people stress out about that their car has a dent in it or that they didn't get their mortgage bill paid or that they didn't have a phone. But I never thought that way because I saw everybody that I knew, my mother, my real dad, everybody dropped dead. I kind of, you know, it's like I thrive and feel the most alive when I'm going through this. And, and uh, you know, my mother, the whole time she was dying, she never complained about anything once. She, was, she smiled, she never said, oh, this sucks, or this is painful, or this is horrible. She was always so positive. As a matter of fact, uh, the day before she died, she couldn't move, she hadn't moved in a week, she couldn't even move an inch. And a little boy went walking past the hallway where she was, and she was you know, in a bed and couldn't move. A little boy that she had known, that hadn't seen her for a month, came with the mother, but the boy was afraid to go in and say hi. Little boy walked by my mom a day before she's dead, looks at the little boy and notices. She's like, oh, he got his hair cut, he looks so cute. That's because she had no ego. She wasn't obsessed with herself in any way. Um, but also, I do think it's like a major accomplishment. Like, I think to be able to survive something like this proves that we can live with nothing. You know, everybody wants domination and wants to own and control everything and believes that, you know, money and diamonds and riches and all this stuff is what, you know, what life is about. But really, at the end of the day, that means nothing. In the beginning and at the end, there is no value in that. That guy looks like me, huh? Kind of.
so bad with uh, directions. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, I broke up with my girlfriend two weeks ago. So she's, uh, she went back to New York. She broke my heart. Yeah. I was, uh, I used to do this thing where I would, uh, you know, with her and we were together and then it was over. So I got like, uh, I might get her tattoo removed. You know? Yeah. It's like I just want to kind of get rid of everything in there. Well. Oh, I. <laughs> I better get back. All right. Ah. I wish I could like. Uh... Ow. It's so 
hurts a little bit. Here, all right, listen, so there's a guy, right? He's deaf and dumb, so he can't hear, he can't speak. He's deaf and dumb. He walks into a school supply store, right, and he picks up a pencil, pretend this is a pencil. He looks at the sales clerk and he goes like this. He goes, what's he trying to buy? Pencil sharpener. Right, pencil sharpener, right. A couple of hours later, the exact same store, another guy walks in. He's blind and he wants scissors. What does he do? No, because he's blind. So he just says, can I please have scissors? Oh. He's not deaf and dumb. I met this girl. Her name was Joan. She loved the way I rock on the microphone. When I met Joan, I took her home. She was just like a doggy all on my phone. I met another girl. Her name was. How long has he been out there? For how long? 12 days. And how long is he going to be out there until? Another one. Another what? Another 30, 32 days. Really? to watch the river. I see faces float by me in the river. I see faces below me. I'm no longer here. I'm just floating.
You mightn't laugh if you knew my age. How long I've been here, how crooked my back, how dark my circles. How I've never truly died and how I've come to be reborn over and over and over in your image again and again. see what hurts me the most is that I know that life is beautiful. I know it is and I want it so badly. I want what you have. David Blaine has survived 44 days of starvation and is about to be released. Paramedics and David's team are now making final preparations to bring the box down. 
after which he'll be taken to hospital for a medical refeeding program. Only then will he know if his self-imposed incarceration has caused any long-term damage to his health. The pictures you are seeing are from Tower Bridge in London. Okay, go ahead and untie your line, please. Would you untie your line over there? Go ahead and untie it. Okay, please stand by over here. Let me check these. Simon, make, go ahead and untie your line. Jonathan, same on yours. Untie your line, please. Come on, closer. Okay, guys, stand by on your ladders. Hold on, Lee. Right, come on down, come on down. All right, come on down. Let's actually get it right into place, guys, right into place. All right, ready to go around. Come on, let's land him properly. Ready to go, ready to go, all the way in. All right, good. Let's get the ladders here, disconnect those two cables. David, yes, we're going to tip you up. So you're almost there. Lee, I'm looking, I'm looking for you. Sorry, baby, sorry, sorry. Okay, I need to clear this area here. Come on over with this. Lee, are we ready to go? You on? David, shut that door and lock it. All right, you support yourself. All right, guys, he just comes over. I need some hands on this doorway. Okay. You lay back. Take your way back. Yeah, okay, David, just lay back. Just lay, lay back there. Put your feet down here. There you go. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Okay, Perfect. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, good. All right. Hands on it, folks. Okay. Keep your eyes up. Heads up. Watch it in case it slips backwards. Feet clear. Feet clear. Don't let it slip. All right, Henry. Looking good. Nice and easy, baby. Can the lid come off? All right, David, stand by. Keep your eyes up there. You can do it. Just a couple more seconds there, David. All right. You're almost there. All right. Okay, special effects let's guys. Let's get this thing. door off and over here. Swing it around here. Just rotate it right back. around. Rotate your end around. All right, man. Careful. Careful. You want to say something? Take it. We got you. Take your time. 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 the most important experiences in my life. <laughs> Bring the stretcher here. Bring the stretcher. Bring it here. Guys, mind your backs. Mind your backs. I've learned more. Bring it here. In Just watch your backs. In on. that little box than I have in years. I learned how important it is to have a sense of humor and to laugh at everything because nothing makes any sense anyway. You wear a blanket. We should put something around his shoulders. Unfold it. Unfold it all completely. It's way too cold. I've learned how strong we all are as human beings. How strong we all are. But most importantly, I learned to appreciate all the simple things in life. A smile from a strange one or a loved one. The sunrise, the sunset. 
everything that God has given us. And I thank you all so much. I love all of you forever. I love you all. I love you. David, we need to wear you, okay? We just need to get a quick way. Okay, mate. If you can just take it, David, there's some scales there. If you can just step forward into the okay? Just stay there. You're gonna take the t-shirt off, yeah? So Okay. Alright, David. Nice to study. Get that blanket ready, yeah? Jesus. Okay. You ready? Unbelievable. Nice to study. David, you're coming out to 11, 11 stones, stone. one out. 11 stones, one out. You've lost over four stones. Get this blanket on him, Paul. Uh, David, can I just get you sat down on here? Yeah, I need to sit you down. I just need to do some tests. Okay, just turn yourself around. Nice and steady. Just nice and steady. Just sit yourself down. Swing your feet up for me, yeah? What we're going to do is just do some tests because we've got some problems with you while you've been in. Okay, can we just sit him up? Let's get this blanket over. Guys, yeah. Pull this side of the blanket up. Let's get him wrapped up, yeah? David, I just need to put this onto your arm, okay? I'm just going to check your blood pressure. I need to check to make sure everything's okay before we move you. This gentleman here is just going to do an ECG, all right? Nice and steady, nice and relaxed, okay? Just try He's and relax. He's you've got to get covered up. You've got to get covered up. Yeah, okay, nice and steady. We've got to get him. Yeah, nice and steady. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's get this done quickly. We need okay? to get him out of the cold. Yeah, nice and steady. The blanket. Okay, we need nice that blanket. Steady. Nice Here, steady. give it nice to him. Nice and slow. Okay. Okay, nice and steady. Can yeah. you read it, Paul? Yep, I can read it. David, your blood pressure's coming we out get him to 110, Paul. Yeah. Over 50, yeah? All right. Over 50. Let's go. To your low, yeah? Let's go. Let's go. Well, let's take him to the let's ambulance. Go. Let's, go. Let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Give me that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just up on the lead, yeah? He's too cold. Guys, you go, yeah? Okay. No, you need David, that oxygen, David. You need that oxygen on, Dave. Just leave Serious. that on, yeah? Let's go. Come on. All right. Forty-four days after it began, David Blaine has successfully completed the fourth endurance feat of his career, above the below. An ambulance will now take him to hospital, where he will find out if there has been any lasting damage to his health. What do you do when your death wish exceeds your life wish? What do you do when you love life but all you dream of is dying? Can you dream of the darkness when the rainbow flies? Whether you like me or not, whether you desire in secret or open from my demise, I just laugh. Guys, get the doors, yeah? Let's get him warmed up. How do we get? Where's the. How does I the know, animal, just sit by, yeah? yeah. How many just go down? How does this go down? Yeah. Let's get him. Jesus, look at this. Nice and steady. Nice and relaxed. Nice and steady. Nice and relaxed. Nice and steady. Am I going to be okay? Though? You're going to be fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah. 
improve your pulse is quite fast yeah I feel pretty good. Ben, let me call you right. Yeah, let me call you right back, okay? You don't have to worry. I'm good. I was actually worried tonight and yesterday night and the night before. Yeah, we try and keep still for me just for a minute while I just get a reading, yeah? Nice and steady. Just while I get a reading. So I'm on a, a little so funny about was when I said I hate life. Because I don't hate life at all. It's okay, you did it. you know what that is? You did at that point and now you you're different now. That's what should have happened. That's <laughs> don't you see? That's it. Brown again, just look at my nose for me. Nice and steady. Okay, on this side as well. Good luck. Brilliant. Okay? Yeah, fine. Absolutely fine, mate. James, come on. Oh, you're getting This is like all senses or <laughs> colors. <laughs> She knows. No, I'm looking in the mirror. Okay. I'm seeing myself in five times or Okay. Crazy. That mm -hmm. is crazy. Well, be careful. Come and sit down. Yeah. 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 Stop <laughs> 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 <laughs>